Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luji Music and this is my Happy 2K Q&A. Thank you all so so much for 2,000 subscribers. I think it's just crazy to me to think that there are 2,000 of you, if now over 2,000 of you, who watch and like and even subscribe to my channel. So I'm just really really super grateful for each and every one of you and I'm just really happy you're all here. And I'm also super super thankful for all the wonderful questions that I received. I think I definitely got a lot more from you guys than I was expecting and some of these questions get really really deep so yeah I'm gonna really try to answer each and every one of them fully. Um, this video might get a little long so feel free you know to skip around find the questions that you're interested in but yeah so without any further ado let's get right into the first question. How did you get into violin and what made you decide on making music on YouTube? Yeah, so my violin journey all began in fourth grade. Um, so in elementary school, we all had to pick an instrument to play or sing in the choir. And so I originally was going to be like, oh, maybe I'll just sing. It's, you know, easier. You know, I don't have to like learn something completely new. But um, my best friend at the time was like, hey, I'm playing violin. You should come play with me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so that's basically how I started. Um, and I, I just found it a lot more fun um, than piano, you know, so yeah, it just kind of stuck on all of these years. Um, and what made me get into making music on YouTube? Yes, yeah, so I followed a cover artist named June Curion. I don't know, maybe some of you, you know, growing up in the early, you know, 2010s might remember him. He is really big, basically does exactly what I do, which is make covers of K-pop, you know, popular songs on YouTube. And so I just grew up watching that. You know, I was always a really big fan of K-pop, anime, video game soundtracks. So I decided, hey, I want to do that one day too. Yeah, so that just kind of became my hobby and that's how I got started. All right, next question. What's been your favorite cover thus far? What cover was your favorite, if any? Yeah, so I have many, many different favorites uh, for different reasons. Obviously, I really love the ones that I could do with all my friends, you know, the ones that I shot outdoors, such as, you know, um, my Ghibli by the Sea. I, I played um, Gibson Lantern right uh, with me and my friends. So those are always really fun to do. Um, another personal, I guess, kind of milestone video for me was my flower dance one. That song was just one that I always wanted to play since middle school, actually, since I was 13 years old. So that one was really, I think, um, really memorable for me to do. Uh, next question. So your aesthetic for Luigi music is very fairy-like and cute. Are there any other themes or aesthetics you're thinking about trying in the future? So fairy-like, that is not a comment I heard before, but that's so sweet. That makes me seem, I don't know. <laughs> I felt very happy reading that comment. Um, yeah, any other aesthetics? So I, I think for me, you know, I'm pretty comfortable doing kind of my home style videos, the ones I shoot in my room, you know, going outdoors, like, the, I think that's kind of what I've pretty much been doing, right? And in terms of any other themes or aesthetics, I don't know if I'm actually too into, you know, um, the people who like rent out a whole studio, have flashy lights and what, whatnot. Like I, I don't personally think I can pull off the edgy kind of <laughs> vibes that a lot of cover artists have, but I mean, who knows? Yeah, I mean, who knows what's down the line for me. So we'll just have to see. A similar question I got was, if you could try new content or a new project that didn't have to be related to what you're doing now, what would you want to try? Yes, so I've definitely thought about this and I kind of tried it out with my trip to Japan last December where I started posting sort of um, daily, like day in the life or day in the travels of Luji where I kind of just posted stuff that I did in Japan. So I would be interested or I'd be um, 
down to start making like vlogs, travel vlogs, daily life kind of vlogs, or even like behind the scenes, how I shoot my videos. But yeah, please let me know in the comments what you want to see. All right, next question. If you didn't do violin, what would be your second choice of passion or career? And what profession do you practice or would like to practice? Yes, so now, you know, I'm pretty much a freelance musician. I do my YouTube channel as one of my big projects. Um, I also teach, I do some administrative work. Um, that is what I do. And then any profession that I would like to practice, I think I'm always interested in being, you know, like a small business owner, like online, you know, maybe selling stuff like digital art, except I'm like not the best artist or I wasn't trained that way. So yeah, like I've, yeah, I guess something to do with like business marketing. I, I think that's what I would probably go into. Hardest song you haven't played yet or succeeded in? Um, in terms of the classical repertoire, right? We, we always have more concertos we can play, more sonatas. Um, in terms of for my channel, well, for me, I think the most limiting thing would be my piano skills. So, I mean, I started piano when I was um, young, but, you know, as I mentioned before, I kind of stuck with violin, so piano sort of fell off and my piano skills are nowhere near, you know, my violin, so... I guess that would be sort of like a limiting or like I haven't succeeded in. All right, so next question. Who inspires you musically or even as a YouTuber? I have many, many, many different influences. Um, I think as I mentioned before, right, Jun Kuryon is basically the whole reason why this channel even exists. So a huge thanks um, and props to him for kind of, I guess, paving the way for a, a lot of us um, for me, classically, of course, there's just so many names, um, so many soloists that I look up to, like Hilary Hahn, Janine Janssen, Ray Chen. I think, and also in terms of like K-pop, right? More than just a fan of, you know, the group, I really look up to, you know, groups like BTS, Seventeen, even Epic High I've been getting into recently. I just like really admire how much hard work and dedication they put into their craft and yeah how hard they practice how much they love music i think all of that is just really inspiring for me as like a, as an artist as a performer i i do look up to them as well all right next question so what's been your favorite moment since starting your youtube channel honestly just seeing comments from you guys or you know hearing things from people i know where you say that my covers really make your day, make you happy. You know, you put it on in the background and it just, yeah, it becomes like your background music. I just, that just warms my heart. I think all of your comments are always so kind anyway. So just seeing all of you enjoying my covers, enjoying my music, that's really the whole reason why I'm doing this. And I'm just happy um, to make you happy. I think, so I think that would be the most memorable and most rewarding part of making YouTube videos. Where do you see yourself, this channel, in five years, 10 years, and plans for the future for the channel? Alrighty, so um, as for myself, I would still hope that in five, 10 years, I'm, I'm still playing the violin, still making music in some capacity. I really think, you know, learning an instrument Especially playing my violin, it's something I'm gonna be doing my whole life. But as for the channel, yes. So, I actually, you know, I did mention earlier that I was interested in sort of this small business kind of, you know, size of things. So, I am, and this is I guess a big announcement in the middle of my video, but I am planning a merchandise store for this channel. And so if you are a Ko-Fi member, you already heard of this, so thank you to all my members. Shout out to all of you guys. So if you would like to know more about my merch store, see sneak peeks, get discounts, you know, be the first ones to know, please join my Ko-Fi page. That's where I keep everyone updated. So yes, merch store, hopefully that is up and running. It's something very much kind of in the, the grassroots stage right now, but yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. Um, and in terms of like subscribers, so I 
don't really care too much about the numbers. I mean, yes, I'm really grateful for all 2,000 of you, but my brother did say that he's not gonna watch my videos until I hit 10k, so I think we all know what we need to do, right? <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, so that, that would be, I guess, um, plans for the future of my channel. All right, now we'll get to some of the more lighter questions. What makes you laugh the most? Okay, these days, this might be a bit of a guilty pleasure, but I've been finding myself scrolling on Instagram reels. I mean, don't we all, but there's just been like, I, I think Instagram targets me with like a specific algorithm of just K-pop memes, like BTS memes, Seventeen memes, anything, even Stray Kids. And yeah, I think it's just, I, I also just have a very simple, dumb kind of sense of humor. Anything meme or like punny makes me laugh. So I think what I'm trying to say is it doesn't take very much to make me laugh. All right, next question. Which part, and they specified literally the physical part of the violin do you like most and why? Okay, so I had to think about this question a little bit, but I did remember I have an old instrument that I used to play on. And let me, let me, let me just show you what I mean. The back of this violin, of, the, of a violin that I used to play on, is definitely my favorite because look how beautiful this one piece back is with, with the shiny varnish. It, it, if, I don't know, in real life you can kind of see it has like a holographic kind of effect. Most violins um, actually come with two different sets of wood, so let me show you this with my normal violin. Um, so if you can see here, there is usually a line which indicates that the back was made with two different pieces of wood. Yeah, so this one that I used to play on has only one and it's really pretty, super special. That would probably be my favorite part or physical part <laughs> of an instrument. Next question, what is the best animal on the planet? LOL, JK, we all know. My favorite animal, to, I mean, take a wild guess, <laughs> is the penguin. And, um, but recently I've been getting into, you know, bunnies. But yeah, I, I would say probably penguins are my favorite animal. Bunnies are my favorite pets. So next question, what is my favorite piece? Yes, favorite piece of music. Again, there's just so many great pieces of classical music out there. Um, I would say my favorite violin solo piece is called uh, Liebschleid uh, by Fritz Kreisler, translates to Love's Sorrow. Yes, it was used in this Your Lie in April clip here. Yes, that's what made it popular for me and for I think a lot of other <laughs> anime watchers. Um, but really, no, this, this piece I think does a really good job of conveying, you feel really bittersweet, I think, listening to the piece, so I really recommend it um, to anyone watching. Next question, what is your favorite Pokemon? That one is so hard, there's just so many, I'm just gonna put them all up on the screen, okay, so uh, yeah, editor, Luigi, please just fill the screen with Pokemon that I like. As you can see, there's. I think it's just an interesting combination of really cute ones, but also some of the really cool ones. So next question, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? So my favorite ice cream flavor is cookie dough, um, specifically the Ben and Jerry's, you know, chocolate chip cookie dough. That one's always a good one. Um, but I'm also a mint chocolate chip lover. I know this might divide some people, but I am a mint choco stan. So you're welcome to like it, hate it. I'll always eat it. More for me, I guess. All right, next question. Ooh, we're actually getting down to the last two. So if you're still here, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, favorite Genshin Hisbando of all time? Choose only one. All right, this is actually pretty easy. I can answer with full confidence. Kamisato Ayato. Yes. So, yeah, I just really like the color blue. So first of all, you know, my channel, everything is blue. My favorite color is blue. So Ayato matches my color palette perfectly. Um, he's a Hydro character. I really like the Hydro element. I think it's one of the strongest ones in the game. And I mean, man's got boba up his sleeve. What more could you ask for? And finally, 
Last but not least, the age-old most important question. Burritos or tacos and specific reasons why. Okay, this one's also pretty easy for me as well. I would have to confidently say tacos. One, because I have actually quite a small appetite and burritos, especially like the ones from Chipotle or something are often way too big for me. Like I could probably only eat like half a burrito at a time, which kind of gets messy. How do you even store that? So yeah, tacos I think are a lot more kind of like finger food. Second reason, there, I think a few years back, I had just the most amazing LA street tacos ever. And I think that like changed it. It was, it was actually life changing. So um, yeah, I think for that, tacos will have to um, go above burritos for me. Again, that's my own personal opinion. You're welcome to enjoy both or none at all. All right, everyone. So that is all the questions we have. Again, there were so many more than I expected and so many of them that really got into some really deep, you know, discussions. So I'm just happy that we got a really good, diverse mix of questions. So once again, thank you all for 2000 subs. Thank you so much for tuning in to my first Q&A. Um, you know, hope to maybe do more videos like this in the future. Let me know what you would like to see. But um, till my next video, till next time, please stay tuned and see you then.